Friday, woohoo, badness! Here at Del Rento in Mungie Town. Before we get to our Athlete of the Week, let's find out a little bit more about the specials they got going down here at Del Rento. Easy. Zero down and sofa love seats. Come down and see us. There you go. You come on down to Mungie Town, man. Our Athlete of the Week this week from the defending champion, Tooth Fairies of the Guam Basketball Association, uh, Mr. Kirk Long. Congratulations, Kirk. Hey, thank you very much. And now, old girl here with a special message uh, for Mr. Long Girl. Congratulations on winning Dal Rental and Athlete of the Week. Who would you like to donate this check to? Uh, thank you very much. I'd like to give it to uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Well, there you go, man. Very competitive uh, season here in the GPA. As defending champs, I mean, everyone was out gunning for the Tooth Fairies, right? Uh, yeah, um, it's been an up and down season or conference for us right now. Uh, but lots of great teams. Everyone's gotten stronger. It's been a lot of fun. Now, with everyone uh, gunning for you guys and, you know, the uh, the real uh, physical style of FIBA rules, how hard uh, was it for uh, you guys as a team? Uh, it's It's been hard. We've had some guys missing or injured at different points, so uh, we've really had to stick together and just stay positive throughout the season, and uh, hopefully we can end on a high note. Well, there you go. Uh, you know, you guys, uh, great chemistry as a team. Uh, what do you think are some of the uh, the secrets uh, that you guys have in uh, your successful run this year and making it to the second round? Uh, just uh, our defense. We rely on our defense and energy when we can all show up and uh, just play hard on both sides of the court, then uh, we have a lot more success. Uh, which uh, teams gave you guys a hard time this year? Uh, well, the MVP team kicked our butts a couple weeks ago, so... Uh, hopefully we'll get another chance at them uh, if we see them in the finals. And uh, the KFC Bombers have been, been strong as well, so we play them tonight. I know that uh, you played some uh, college ball over in the, in the Philippines, uh, and we've seen some of uh, the uh, PI Collegiate players here uh, on Guam and in the GBA. What was that experience like for you? Uh, I grew up in the Philippines my whole life, so they have a passion for basketball very similar to Guam. Uh, you see it everywhere, and so I was just fortunate enough to grow up around that atmosphere and uh, exposed to us since a young age. So great competition over there, and they're, they're getting stronger and stronger every year. All right, well, there you go. Our Athlete of the Week here at Dal Rento in Mungie Town. Friday, Betness! AUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Coco's Crossing back this year with some of that new, new. The annual distance ocean swim event offers new race lengths in 2017. A 5 and 10K swim going to test competitors. The two and a half mile and Neptune divisions will also be back this year. The Neptune division, a great draw for those wanting to hit the usually peaceful waters of the Cocos Lagoon. Now in that Neptune division, swimmers can use fins and snorkels to swim from Cocos Island to Malesso Pier. It's a good exercise. It's something different other than running a 5K or something. Swimmers from Japan, Australia, the CNMI, and even Hong Kong will hit the waters to compete against Guam's best. The Ocean Swim event hosted by Guam's two oldest swim clubs, the Manakai Athletic Club and the Manhoban Swim Team. Hundreds of swimmers turned out last year and more are expected when the race takes place Sunday, May 28th. Registration online, guamcocoscrossing.com or contact organizer Kate Gale at 488-2222. Amanda Poppy representing Guam in the 10K Swim and she has been training hard for the new distance offered at this year's Cocos Crossing. I've been training two times a day, every day, and I'm feeling pretty good about doing the 10K swim. I'm nervous, though. Poppy says competitors should be in the thick of their training regimens as we are a couple weeks out from race day. She offers this advice to help swimmers mentally cope with the challenging distances. You should always be concentrating on your technique and not the distance because if you're concentrating on the distance, you're just going to get bored. You're going to think, oh my gosh, this is so long. 